Hello friends and welcome back to the channel for the finale of season 52. It is war number 12 and today we have a critical matchup against TCN where the winner makes top 10 and the loser is likely on the outside looking in in like 11th or 12th place. Team today, Ironheart and Void returning to action and for the first time Luke Cage joins the war team. We have a couple of very cool fights today including an enchantress war boss so be sure to stick around for that one at the end of the video. For now though, let's jump right in. Starting off on path number one, we have a Sorcerer Supreme on node number one that we'll be taking with Void. Could also have used Luke here, but honestly, if I have the option to use Void, I'm gonna use Void, as you guys all know by now. A couple things to uh, note in this fight. Uh, the regen, not really a concern here because between the debuffs and uh, Fear the Void and the heal block, we'll be taking care of that. So really the only thing I'm trying to keep one eye on is the power gain on her side and when she has triggered the power gain like she does there I am going to back off and not hit into her at all because I don't want to trigger a miss and get punished so we're letting her uh, throw off these special attacks and once the power gain has ended we can safely hit into her trying to push her to the special two if we can because it's much easier to punish and remember that punishing specials uh, pauses the timer on that charge gain which is really nice too. The heal block is about to end, but I think we refresh it here at the last second. There we go. And now from here, we have her in the corner, and we can just uh, continue parrying and just basic hits and using our specials. So really, uh, mostly a nothing fight here, unless you, you, know, you happen to hit into her and trigger the miss and get punished there. All right, we didn't uh, have to do that node 10 fight against Havoc, so we're up in section 2 on path 4. We have a Clairvoyant here on node 22. We took this fight earlier in the season with Deathless Vision, but now that Luke Cage is available, he is a much faster and frankly a much safer option for this fight. Now if you're unfamiliar with how Luke works, uh, you want to build up your exhaustion debuffs by using your light attacks, and then you want to use your special 2 when you have at least 5 of them to trigger a pair of concussions against mystic opponents and that's pretty much going to shut down everything that they've got going on and his easy access to debuffs means that you're going to have the tactic heal block up almost the entire fight and obviously you have that uh, safety net with his indestructible too uh, if you do manage to take a hit so luke just really really good for this tactic he's been banned a lot for the season and you saw exactly why there all right up on node 31 we have uh, one final 4b dust for the season and uh, yeah, this, this one goes uh, pretty well. I, I talked a few wars ago about how I feel like I have perfected the, the method for this fight. Use an advanced power boost, dex at the start, sidestep into your special one, dex again, and then from here you have tracking up. You can safely parry her, and then we're just going to stick to medium mediums here. Not going to hit into her block. We can safely let her hit into ours, and she cannot trigger a sand debuff because of tracking. And we're just kind of letting the damage over time here uh, do do its thing. Uh, we could definitely push ourselves to the special two. We have enough incinerates on her now uh, that we we don't really risk any of them dropping off. Uh, but honestly, it's you know it, it doesn't really matter. You know safety or or speed. Either way, the fight is pretty much on lockdown here. Pushing her to the special two because you can easily punish it. Uh, I think it takes her a second to throw it here. We're just going to take the first hit on the block and dex out of the rest, punish it with a double medium, and then one more special dex and the incinerates finish her off. All right, moving up to the first mini boss island, we have an Ebony Maw here on 37. We took a Photon here before, and we took an Emma Frost here before as well. I talked a bit in the last video about how uh, Ironheart feels like one of the best Ebony Maw counters in the game right now, at least for, for this war tactic for sure, uh, because she can get up her, her miss counter very easily, and once she has it up, there's really nothing that Maw can do uh, to prevent her or, or to get rid of it. So we don't have to keep like a, uh, you know, a careful eye on knocking him down. If we do have an opportunity to knock him down, we'll take it like we did there. Uh, but yeah, it, she just makes fights against him just so easy. It can easily parry him. Uh, you know, there is some danger of him triggering the degen from nullifying the fury with the special ones. But I feel like y you go into a fight with Maw kind of expecting that to happen. Uh, and account for it so we are keeping a total lockdown on the regen from personal space between uh, the despair mastery and the heal block from the tactic 
healing is really not at all a concern here. He is getting a little bit of power gain uh, from Mystic Dispersion, from those placebo buffs ending, but again, with the heal block from the tactic up, um, taking care of 75% of that power gain, he isn't really close to like a danger zone uh, or a special three here. And uh, we get through that fight without any issues at all. All right, the last fight of the war and of my season is fittingly an Enchantress boss that we're going to be taking out with Void here. Now we do have a uh, big boost running. We're going to pop an invuln here and we have the Mr. Fantastic pre-fight debuffs available. Now the strategy that I saw for using Void in this fight is to clear the initial set of spells and then after that do your best to keep the read pre-fights active while also pushing her to the special three. However, in almost all of my duels against her, she was throwing her special ones into my hard block repeatedly. And right there at the start of the fight, we've already lost our read pre-fights here. So at the start of the fight, I'm going to stick with that strategy and just try and do four hits, hard block. Hopefully she uh, just hits into my block and, and does a heavy. And then we're going to continuously push her to her special three. And we have, remember, three of those that we can tank uh, before they're going to start to do any damage. And then after that, we can play the fight pretty much straight up. So few seconds in here we already have her down 20 percent feeling relatively good about the strategy at this point in the fight we don't have to clear any spells so it's really just a matter of just keeping a lockdown on her power gain which is helping us get her to that special three we've got the heal block active so we won't have any errant misses to deal with and then we're just repeatedly firing off our special one of course in order to build up those natural debuffs and eventually trigger the attack increase from Fear of the Void. So here is the second special three that we're taking from her. We did roughly another 20-ish percent or so. Uh, right there, I waste my last indestructible on a heavy. It looked like I was stunned coming out of that special three, which I don't understand. So now at this point, I have to play the fight straight up. We cannot take another special three. So we are, you know, unfortunately backed off in the corner here, and I'm just trying to clear all the spells one at a time. Now the way I've kind of gotten used to playing against Enchantress is that there is almost always going to be a side effect associated with the green spell, which is the heavy counter. Most often it's going to be that untouchable one. So when you bait out the heavy attack, you have time to do one medium into her and then you want to hold block immediately. That way if that medium triggers the miss, which is a 30% chance, you still have enough time not to get punished. And then from here, uh, you can clear the other spells as needed. So we have a knockdown spell here, which we will strike her into a heavy to clear. And then she immediately tosses the special one here. Uh, I notice I'm also not worrying about punishing her special one, which is good for the tactic, but uh, she's got so many icons on her side of the screen. I, I don't want to miss the untouchable one. Uh, or have her dash into me while she's unstoppable. Either of those things would be really bad. So again, I'm really just playing it safe here. Take that special two on the block, that's perfectly fine. Baiting out this heavy here, and we're going to counter with a special one. We've got a little bit of time left on Fear of the Void, and it's about to trigger again. So we're doing a really good job here of keeping our damage up. And again here, that's the benefit of having a max sig void. Just really, really good uptime on that attack increase. And uh, as the fight went on, I got much more comfortable with it. And one more combo finishes her off. And that is a rank 3 Enchantress boss in the bin. Really, really pleased with that fight. Not as pleased, unfortunately, with the outcome of the war. Uh, we got behind in this one early and uh, just, couldn't, just couldn't catch up. So... Uh, really disappointing end to the season for us, unfortunately. Five kills for me, zero deaths, and our record for the season finishes at 7-5. and five. Uh, This likely means that we will be on the outside looking in, probably at 11th place. Uh, so unless there is a dock in the top 10, which feels unlikely, uh, but you never know. Uh, we will not have met our goal for top 10 this season, which is which is really disappointing. But it is what it is. Folks, look forward to the uh, war rewards and results and review video that I always do. That'll be out in the next couple of days after war rewards come out. Uh, and probably a couple of days after that because I, I know I've been chronically late with those the past few seasons. But, you know, it is what it is. Folks, if you enjoyed this one, please let me know in the comments below. And as always, thank you very much for watching. See you again next time.